Hello everyone! For this video, mag-a-unbox po tayo ng aircon na nabili namin sa Shopee at bill reveal na rin sa aming 2 months energy consumption. This unboxing video was taken in the month of October last year. Personally, ayoko po talagang bumili ng aircon kasi nga, hipit pa kami. Kakasimula pa lang namin dito sa Manila at malapit na rin akong mga anak during this time. Kaso lumipat kami ng apartment kasi nga ayaw na may makadistorbo since magdadalawa na ang baby namin sa time na to. Dati kasi doon kami nakatira sa apartment provided by the company. May dalawang kwarto at occupied ng dalawang co-workers ng asawa ko ang isang kwarto. Alam niyo na basta bata di talaga mapigil ang magingay. Maganda naman yung nilipatan namin lalong lalo na yung mga kapitbahay namin. Ang babait nila. Kaso ang init talaga, kahit bukas pa lahat ng bintana, di talaga kami makatulog sa init. Tapos graveyard shift pa yung trabaho ni Habi, kailangan niyang makatulog ng mahimbing. Itong panganay ko masakitin rin, tapos may baby pa na paparating in November. Kaya napilitan kami yung bumili nitong window type 0.6 HP Astron Inverter Pass. Iba pala ito sa premium model. According to my research, inverter grade or class model helps save up to 30% to 40% energy consumption and this is still considered as non-inverter unit, while a premium model helps save up to 60% energy consumption. Excited akong mag-unbox dyan kaso na-realize ko na di ko pala kayang buhatin yung aircon kaya sinirado ko muna yung box at hinintay na lang si Habi. Pagdating ni Habi, excited rin siyang install yung aircon. Mas excited nga tong panganay ko, di mapakali. Siya nga pala, nabili namin to on payday sale, kaya mas malaki yung naging discount. Nagsisi nga ako, bakit di yung with remote control yung pinili ko. Mas mahal kasi yun, tapos di kaya ng budget namin, galing sa pinagsamang Shopee S Pay Later at Shopee Low. According sa product description, the estimated cost per hour is 2.48 pesos, which is based on consumption of typical 0.6 HP units taken from Miracle Orange Tag Study, but actual consumption may vary based on outside temperature, aircon settings, room size, number of people inside the room, and placement of unit. Buti na lang talaga may lalagyan na ng aircon dito. Kung wala, gagastos na naman kami. Before I reveal our electric bill, ito po yung mga gamit namin na dekoryente. Inverter refrigerator, electric kettle, infrared cooker, rice cooker, dalawang exhaust fan, isa dito sa kusina at yung isa naman sa CR. Six bulbs, isang quick fan, dalawang laptop, isang speaker, dalawang mobile phones, internet with telephone, isang electric fan, isang plancha, and lastly, itong aircon. Yung aircon naman namin is nakaset sa high pool at level 7. And we usually use it from 1 or 2 p.m. until 5 or 8 a.m. every day. Bali na on yung aircon for 15 to 19 hours every day. Birang-bihira lang kaming kumala, so that means palagi kaming natutulog sa bahay. Now, our bill is 3,770.93 pesos. Ang mahal! By the way, this is our bill from November 22 to December 21 last year. At nandito nga pala yung parents in loco from November 18 to December 12. Kasi inalalayan nila kami after kong mga anak. At magkasama kaming lahat matulog sa isang kwarto. So that means the number of people inside our room is 6. Now, I will show you our previous bill which is from October 22 to November 21. It's 3,236.29 pesos. So as you can see, tumaas siya ng more than 500 pesos. Sabi ko kay Habi na we will try to save energy na starting 2023 kasi ang laki rin ng agwat. Before kasi kami magkaroon ng aircon, it was only around 1,500. Imagine from 1,500 to almost 4,000. 
on my next vlog, I will show you if nakatipid nga ba kami sa amin energy consumption. See you!